You know, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, for most of us, sc scrolling through our feed just passes the time. Right. But for a lot of people, posting pictures and products is big money. The most successful posters are called influencers. They got influence and persuade other people to buy stuff. Amy Davis sat down with some of them here in Houston to find out the secret to success. That's right, guys. We tracked down three influencers from all walks of life, and they each opened up to share their stories from how much they're paid to how many hours a day they're attached to their phones. What's up, you guys? You want what they wear, and you like what they share. Today, social media influencers are the Mikeys and Mr. Whipples of long ago. Brands before social media would spend thousands of dollars on bringing stylists in, bringing photographers in. I've never pitched myself to a brand. They find me. Everyday Joe's getting paid to post on social media. It is changed my life. Chris Jones owns Bugatti Salon in the Woodlands. He made his first post four years ago to share his work with others. A big hair count reposted one of my haircuts and then it just started this sort of this snowball. 294,000 Instagram followers later. It wasn't about how many follower, followers I can get. It was how many doors can open. Big hair brands noticed Jones and recruited him to train other stylists all over the world. I have the best of both worlds. I can raise my my family in the woodlands and then sort of moonlight in these cool cities and travel and educate. Prayers. Tina Scheibel is the creator behind To Mimi's House We Go on Instagram. I've always, always loved to decorate and create. The 60-year-old Woodlands grandmother of seven has garnered more than 86,000 followers with pictures and posts of her own home. It's a lot of being on my phone all the time. She says she spends 8 to 12 hours a day online. When she's not posting, she's finding things to post and partnering with companies to share affiliate links that help her earn pennies. But if I have 86,000 followers and, you know, 17,000 people are watching my stories and 435 people are buying this sweater, those pennies add up. Happy Thursday. Marissa Herrera is the Katie stay-at-home mom of two running Mommy Style File. I make anywhere typically from $200 a post to 1000 In less than two years on Instagram, she's created a real business sharing fashion and beauty products and trends. Negotiations with brands, signing contracts. Like, I mean, there's a, a lot of back-end things that people really don't See, they think you're just taking a picture today. The free products companies send some shoes are a perk and a pain. The storage becomes an issue. It's a good problem to have. I'm not complaining. It's what I love to do. Yeah, I told her, like, oh, that's awful. So much free stuff. And she's like, no, for real. No, what all of the influencers have in common is consistency. They post regularly and they answer and respond to their followers. So on clicktohouston.com, we're breaking down what platforms they use, how they get those affiliate links, and how they say you can do it too. Yeah, it's impressive. Oh, and I mean, you obviously know a little bit about this. Yeah. Well, I'm going to include you in my web article so people know more about what I you do. I appreciate it. And I, yeah. and I will throw a tip out there. I mean, I think anybody can do it if you're passionate about something. If you love it enough to do it every day, mm -hmm. share that love with somebody else. And in about six months, you could have an organic following that could be worth something. Good advice. That's what they say. you got to find that niche. Mm -hmm. yeah. And be yeah. consistent. Yeah. Interesting. Amy, thank you. Thanks.